Hello, I'm Logan Huffman and welcome to Planted. And today we're going to talk about pots, plural. And we're focusing on six different things you can upcycle laying around your house and turn them into useful pots for little seeds. Let's see what we got. So first off, what we got is we have egg cartons, great pot. Another thing is we have just simple tin cans. Milk jugs or milk cartons. I can show you, you can apply this to a lot of different types of milk jugs, soda jugs, any kind of jug. Australia, toilet paper rolls and towel rolls. This stuff is like gold here. Finally, we hate to use it. God bless Sea Shepherd, but plastic bottle wobblers. Rather than throwing these inside the ocean, why don't we start making growing plants inside it? And finally, my last but favorite, bear can because I don't like dope. And remember, like our dad said, there's a right tool for everything. So let's look at what we're gonna need. A hammer, some scissors, your handy dandy knife, a nail, and a can opener. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Who cares? Let's start with the egg carton. Now the first thing I like to do with the egg carton is I like to take my knife and I like to cut right across that edge because we're gonna get double the bang for the buck. And the best thing about egg cartons is, is this is actually biodegradable material. So I can cut these out individually and that can, I can plant that directly into the ground once the seeds are ready. So it's kind of cool because you can just put it directly into the ground. So simple as that. Then finally you take your handy dandy nail, okay? And you poke inside here. And what you're going to find is with all of these, it's all about aeration. You need to have it so the water flows freely through the bottom of the pot or else it'll get root rot. So just like big plants, you need to poke holes in the bottom of all pots. Perfect. So that's a perfect planter box, just like you buy at the store. And I saw like a package of four of these it was like 10 bucks for biodegradable ones. This, you're literally using something you get at the supermarket, reusing it, and it goes straight into the ground. It's perfect. It's eco-friendly as can be. Filler full of soil, just like you would with anything, because plants need soil, sun, water, and love, and a little bit of dirt. So what I like to do is I like to fill these up too, and I can just put a boatload of onions or beets and some there. So it's a great seed starter too. So you can fill this with dirt as well. So you get twice the bang for one cart. Next up, let's kick the can. So take your handy dandy nail, take your hammer, the grandfather of all tools, and simply pop it straight through. And I like to put a fair amount of these inside here. So we'll get plenty of water coming through the bottom. And the great thing about these cans is, is you can reuse these for many seasons. And these are really fun. They're good little size pots. So bada bing, bada boom. Knock our holes in, simply take it, scoop it. Rock and roll, a little sweet pea. Cartons and jugs. So these are great because you can use a plastic jug if you get milk like that, or we like to get this nice organic oat milk, and I can use these and tear them up. One of my favorite things about them, it's really easy. I don't have to cut into it. It's just like it's public school, right? You rip open your can of milk like that, open it up, there it is. And I like to keep this cap on it. I don't know why, I just think it's funny to grow it like that. And then turn it around, take your handy dandy knife, Actually, don't do it like that. Don't, don't, that's not a good idea. Better to just slightly put the force into it, like a Jedi. Cut your hole into it, pop it through, and fill her up with dirt. And this is just great because, you know, necessity is the mother of all inventions. You can take something and really recycle it and put it to good use. And a lot of these products will last year and year and year. So you can just keep on using them, which is great because you don't have to pay the man at the hardware store for something you can just make yourself out of trash. It's nice to upcycle. It's good to give things new life. Hey, you know what we're gonna do? 
We're gonna take this sweet potato vine I started and just give it a shot. This one looks nice and healthy because this is a tall plant. So we'll just put that sweet potato vine just like that. Perfect. A little pot. The symbol of wealth in 2020. It's not Gucci. It is the toilet. Pippa, as the French say. Toilet paper roll, more exactly. All right. So what are we going to do with this toilet paper roll? Well, this one's probably the funnest. And like the egg carton, it's biodegradable. So you can put it directly in the ground and you don't disturb those sweet little baby roots. They'll grow straight through it. So here's what we're gonna do. I like with the toilet paper roll, and I'm gonna show you how to do it with the towel roll as well. I like to cut it directly in half. So cut it directly in half. Very good, okay? And here's where the fun part gets. You take it and you make four cuts. Okay, and then once you have those four cuts, you fold them like a box. Look at here. You already have a hole at the bottom for the water to come through, and there is a perfect little seed starter. And that's amazing. Think about the little baby kale you're going to put inside there, or the sage, or the goji berry if you're feeling really crazy. So then you just take it, make sure there's no rocks inside those little baby pots. And there you go. You have a perfect little seed starter. And if you're lucky enough to smoke a big stogie, it's a bit weird. Um, <clears throat> anyways, you can, you can use these as well. And you, the same rule applies. Just cut it directly in half and essentially you're making four out of this. Because what you're gonna do is cut them in half. And look, that's the toilet paper roll size. So cut it in half, just like the other one. And look, from one towel, little holder, that would have ended up in a landfill and never given rise to life, other than like little weeds popping through, God hopes so, we're, we're, we're growing food you can eat out of simple things. And you're going to, and it's going to biodegrade anyways, and it actually makes pretty good compost. A lot of people actually compost all their uh, cardboard. I don't necessarily like to, to a large extent, um, but it's, it's supposedly not terribly bad. Bada bing, bada boom. Once again, how about that? Somebody's been real bad, that kind of plastic bad. We're gonna use it and we're actually gonna make it worth something. And we can make a pretty cool pot out of it. Here's how. Take your handy dandy knife and pop it anywhere sort of like halfway in between here. And this is what's gonna be really cool. So I like to run it right across this ridge. Okay, so we're gonna focus on some really fun uses. So one thing we could do, and let's say we don't wanna use this top. Well, we can take this top and guess what this is? This is a miniature greenhouse for little saplings. So let's say that this was a little bit smaller, but let's say we wanna give it all the protection we possibly can without any bugs really getting on it, but still allowing it to have enough humidity. We can just pop it over a little tiny sapling like that. Isn't that cool? And it protects it. That's a great double use. Number two, this is what's really fun. So now this is what I like to do. I like to take one of these, Put your finger inside here, just like that. Okay, and then you can put a little bit of water inside here like this, put it inside there, and when you water it, that water will fall to the bottom and it will actually be able to feed it through humidity. And if it wants, its roots will even reach all the way down there and start drinking up water at its own discretion. So pretty cool, right? Great use for a plastic bottle. Or you could turn this, take this one. Let's say we don't want to do any of those. Okay. Simply take your nail again, pop some holes in the bottom, right? Then take it. And there's your other planter. 
Now, just like beer, it's great as long as you don't have little ones around touching it all the time. These cans can get kind of sharp and so can soda pop cans. So when you do this, make sure it's on a high place where little kids can't touch it. Make sure you rip this off. These are fun anyways to collect. I don't know why, I just remember we used to do it in school. All right, I think it was for some sort of a fundraiser. So take the can, place it right along the edge, just like that. Click it in, just like your regular can, and then voila. Spin it around, just like your regular can opener, until she releases. Perfect. Sometimes it's good to fold it back a little bit. Okay, then take your nail. Make sure you get all those little holes inside there, just enough to make sure it drains. And there you have it. You have another can. And if you really are testy about it, you can even take, and I, you can take a pair of pliers, but I just kind of do it with my hand if I'm worried about it. You can fold it inward a little bit. But I'd probably use pliers rather than your hand, but I'm kind of crazy. And I like living on the edge. I think you're crazy. <laughs> all right, so there you go. Little healthy garden nail. And just like your atypical plastic pot that you might get for really cheap, you bust up the soil so it loosens so it's easier to take out. So with these in this aluminum cans, it actually makes it easier to get them out once they're really root bound inside there, which is cool. Six upcycled pots that you can turn from trash into gardening gold. I'm Logan Huffman and thank you for watching Planted. Hey, just a heads up for all you guys, make sure you go to my farm to kitchen because this is the tomato I started earlier and uh, just a regular tomato that I grabbed out of the kitchen, put the seeds and look at that. I probably have 50 tomato plants for free just from one tomato. Holy cannoli, we've got guacamole with tomatoes.